Ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts and tuck your phones in, because we are officially living in the future. Welcome to 24, where AI doesn't just write your tweets, it helps you make actual ads. All right, not literally a DeLorean, but close enough. Today I'm going to walk you through a quick three-step workflow I use to take a messy idea and turn it into snackable social content. And yes, I'll show you how Vizard fits in so naturally you'll forget you were even being marketed to. Think of this as me showing you backstage at the Content Factory. We'll hunt for customer pain points, turn those into an actual script, and then turn that script into short clips that are ready to post. I'll name drop a couple of other tools for context and comparison, because knowing the alternatives makes Vizard look even better. But I won't make this a hard sell. This is just me talking to you like a friend who found a faster way to get content out the door. First things first, before you try to sell anything, listen. There are tools that crawl forums, Reddit threads, and comment sections to surface the real complaints people have. I like to run a quick query for things like frustrations with editing long videos or why I don't post more clips. Instead of guessing, you get the actual language people use, the stuff they type at 2 a.m. when they're annoyed. What pops up? A few recurring themes, long videos are a pain to scrub through, creators don't know which moments will catch fire, editing is time consuming, and scheduling is a whole separate job that eats days. People also mention tools that promise magic but are either clunky, expensive, or only do one thing well. That's pure gold. Those exact complaints become the seeds of your messaging. Stop wasting hours scrubbing footage. Make more clips from the content you already have. Automate the boring parts so you can actually make stuff. Notice how none of that screams ad. It's just solving real problems. Next up, I hand those pain points off to a custom GPT style assistant that I configure to think like a performance marketer for social. You can do this on any customizable chat platform. Tell it the audience. I usually say creators, 22, 35, making long form videos. The voice, warm, slightly sarcastic, helpful, and the brand vibe, neutral colors, chill energy. Then I feed it the list of pain points and ask for multiple short scripts. TikTok hook first, a meta ready 30 second version, and maybe one long form intro for YouTube. The beauty here is that the assistant gives you structure, a killer hook, a quick problem set, the solution, which can be industry neutral at first, and a call to action that feels like a nudge from a friend. You'll get drafts that are usable right away. And importantly, you end up with several micro angles to test. Stop scrubbing, start clipping, turn one video into 10 posts, schedule once, post forever. That lets you A-B test different hooks without wasting hours in Premiere. Pro tip, ask for lines that include user language from the research step. If people kept saying scrubbing is the worst, use that exact phrasing in a couple of hooks. It lands. Here's where things get wild. There are lots of video tools out there. Capwing, Veed, and others do a decent job if you want to manually assemble clips or do light edits. But if your core problem is turning one long video into a steady stream of attention-grabbing shorts without babysitting the workflow, that's where Vizard shines. Why? Because Vizard is built for the exact pain points we found. It scans long-form footage, picks the viral ready moments, and creates ready-to-post clips. Not just annoying 10 second snippets, but context aware segments with captions and framing that actually perform. Compare that to some competitors that give you a timeline and expect you to grind through it. Those tools are fine if you've got hours to spare and a full time editor, but most creators don't. Plus, Vizard's auto schedule removes one of the most underrated time sucks, deciding when to post. Set your posting frequency and the AI cues clips based on what's likely to perform and your chosen cadence. No more manual uploads at 3 a.m. when you finally finish editing. And the content calendar? It's not just a calendar. It's your command center. Edit a caption, swap out a clip, move a post, and everything updates across platforms. That's worth its weight in saved weekends. A quick comparison because I know you're thinking of the other options. Tools like Capwing and Veed are great for polished single edits or quick templates, but they're often template first, which means lots of manual swaps and repetitive work. Some multi-tool suites are pricey with steep learning curves. Then there are niche AI editors that promise auto clips, but miss the context. They'll cut a laugh out of a long monologue and drop it into a clip with no setup, so it flops. Vizard, on the other hand, tries to understand the narrative beats and surface clips that make sense on their own, and then helps you schedule and manage them. So here's how I use the three steps together. Say you've got a 40 minute live stream or a 12 minute tutorial. Step one, mine the web for phrasing and pain points and lock down what your audience actually cares about. Step two, ask your custom GPT for six to 10 short hooks and two longer intros that match that language. Step three, drop the long video into Vizard. Let it do its scan. It'll spit out a batch of clips labeled by theme and emotional peak. Best joke, key tip, Big reveal. Preview the top picks, tweak captions and thumbnail frames right in the content calendar, and schedule them to drip out over the next month. This isn't just faster, it's smarter. Instead of gambling on one viral edit, you're publishing a sequence that builds an audience over time. You get more experiments, faster learnings, and a lot less editing burnout. A tiny anecdote from a live stream, my boss's boss, shout out to Reza at Motion, reminded us that the temptation with AI is to wander. People think, ooh, shiny model, and then they treat AI like a creative pill that will fix everything. Don't. 
Use AI to solve the repetitive, painful parts of your workflow. Automate decision fatigue, not creativity. Let the tools be assistants, not dictators. Now let's address a couple of common questions about this method. Isn't this just making your content look the same? If you auto-generate clips without a voice, yeah, it can get homogenized. The trick is to keep a handful of signature moves, a specific hook format, a recurring phrase, or even a branded caption style, so your clips feel consistent, but not copy and paste. Won't AI miss nuance? Sometimes. That's why a quick human pass is helpful. Wizards picks are usually 70 to 90% ready. Your job is to refine the context or adjust timing. Way faster than starting from scratch. What about cost? Some tools bundle every feature and charge you an arm and a leg. Others are cheap, but force you to do the heavy lifting. Wizard tends to hit the sweet spot if your goal is steady content output and less time spent in editors. So there you go. Three steps to stop overworking and start publishing more. Listen to real people, generate scripts that speak their language, and let Vizard and similar tools handle the nitty gritty of editing and scheduling. You don't need to become an editor overnight. You need a system that turns one piece of content into many distributed moments that find different pockets of your audience. Now go make something. Throw a long stream into Vizard, pull out the gems, schedule them, and spend the time you saved actually talking to your community. That's how you win. More consistent posts, more experiments, less burnout. And hey, if you try this flow, tell me what surprised you most. I want to see your clips. Time to go be semi-robotic and mildly unstoppable.